Oh, please, take a look. Thanks for coming in. It's amazing what passes as art nowadays. Planet hopping type. Got any room on your ship for someone like me? Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> I won't overcharge you. I'm grateful for the offer. I've been out of a job since I left the Freestar Rangers. You're short on credits? You don't know what you're talking about. Look, I'd like to help, but... This isn't getting us anywhere. I feel for you, but I can't work for that little. I have to make a living. Oh, well, I guess there's no accounting for taste, huh? If you change your mind, I'll be here. Hey. Anything I can I'm do? I'm looking to join a crew. Any openings? More than the average group person's salary. Y 
your loss. Okay. Hello. Any vacancies on your crew? I'm not asking for much, just a reasonable share. I see. Look me up when your luck turns around. Do you have room for one more on your crew? I'm only looking to earn the going rate. Why is that? I get the feeling you're trying to stiff me. No, that's okay. I, uh, think I got it. Not if I go broke. That's the best I can do. Take it or leave it. Well then, goodbye. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice. Know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you, new guy? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. You know, I had a guy in here last week ranting that General Shao ought to send the Marines down into the well. I'm usually all for letting folks speak their mind. Most times it can't be helped after a few drinks. But that was just too much. Anybody stuck living in the well, it almost certainly isn't by choice. And things down there aren't that bad. Yep, spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous, galaxy-wide. You would love it, I guarantee. Only, I can't make you one right now. Don't have the ingredients. I made a deal with a hauler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. Yes. What with all these extra credits cluttering up the place, why didn't I think of that? Sorry, Snark isn't helpful. This stuff was pricey to get a hold of the first time. I submitted all the paperwork, believe me. It won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really, I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. I mean, doing something about this won't exactly be on the straight and narrow, will it? I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, 
That might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, with me on this? God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. Like I said, I submitted the usual security release forms, but because my cargo is tied up with a bunch of, again, totally unrelated illegal stuff, I don't expect the forms to matter. At all. I went and talked to an officer at the office too. You, me. Sergeant, maybe? He was polite, but unhelpful. I declined to suggest that as our new slogan. New Atlanta security. Polite, but unhelpful. Truth in advertising, eh? I know a few things, but not much. The cargo is being held down at the spaceport, not in the security office. Still, they use the same access cards. If you had one, it'd work. How or why you would have a UC security access card is none of my business, of course. I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Beyond that, the ship decks over there might also be able to get in. I don't know any of them, or I'd be talking to them instead of you. No offense. Yeah, this is hardly a life or death situation. Some lights breaking and entering at worst, right? I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. See, this only works if we both talk. Otherwise, I'm just giving a speech and I hate public speaking.
You're in the right place. Catch you later. <laughs> Not used to people coming up to me. The suit usually scares them off. <laughs> Although I guess that's my fault, isn't it? I guess you could say I've always had it. Once you've been all over, like I have, you might find yourself in something like this, too. Uh, yeah, well, I... I go all over. A little psychological warfare up front tends to make things easier. Retired, actually. From too many lives to count. But I've been all those things, yeah? And a few more. I spend a lot of time in the fringes these days. God help you if you come across something someone wants. You'd think it was things like civilizations and factions that cause people to want to shoot each other. No, even without that, it's still winner take all. You're on to me. Of course. <laughs> That's what makes the reality so tragic. Wait a second. I think I'm in danger of having a real conversation with someone for a change. <laughs> Better stop here. I'm sure we'll see each other again. I really love this place. Couldn't imagine living anywhere else. There's a huge tree in the Embassy District, across from the mass station. Trust me, it may sound dumb, but I think everyone should see it at least once when they're in the city. It's so cool. Or maybe I just love trees. Oh, sure. There's always tons of travel into New Atlantis. So there's no shortage of people to me. I love talking with the new people and hearing about their gym. Not to mention, it's also nice and safe. He's a Marine, and if that wasn't bad enough, he keeps telling me it's safe and how he loves his... All I ever hear about Sidonia is how many people get hurt in... I hope you're right. I just have... But, oh my, I'm sorry. It just feels good. Have a good one. Hello. Captain, can't 
installation will be waiting for you at the lodge. This really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. There's something I can help you with? Yeah, I can't really just let you in there. Maybe we can bend the rules a bit. Yeah, I hope so. All right, look, don't tell anyone I did this for you. I could lose my job over it. If anyone asks, I had nothing to do with this. You got it? One second. All right, make it quick, please. Right? see you again. Can I get you something? Hey there, new guy. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Oh, no way. You really got it? I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. You really do love your joke. You are joking, right? Well, look, I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, on top of that, you get free drinks. Not, not like unlimited free drinks, but you want a little pick-me-up now and then? I got you covered. I need some time to work on what comes next. But this, this was the difficult part, I think. Really, thank you so much. See you around. Good to see you.
đi Scientist out in front of mast, staring at trees, sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? We may be in a United Colonies City, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity and always has been. Here we are, the Lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Captain, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Oh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? 
But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that... girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Gantry? You're on, Walter. Well... If we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal, another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building, well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Fair enough, but you need a place to stay in the city, right? Why don't you settle in here? We owe you that much. Come find me when you're ready. And here. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And it's a shame he isn't here to see this. Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and art. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brain's attempt to make sense of... He did. At the time, well, it's Barrett. We weren't... Sure. I'm not trying to suggest otherwise. I wasn't... That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can... We're all in this together now. Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Oh, gosh, no, I mean, that's, that's flattering, but until you arrived, we only had the two, and the vaguest sense that there was, there's still so much we don't know, and that means a lot of work ahead of us. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical... Co One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. 
I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more, and if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very right. True. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter's quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. So this is the bar, usually no tender, so help yourself, within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Okay, this'll be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy!
something you need? So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to... Just what, that is. We'll have... I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for... We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. And I understand. You've been through a lot. I am at your service, Captain. I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes, concern. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an ex Well, that's... Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Apparently, he's got some work.
The whale's been having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. So after an hour of whining, they're finally out here. They're just sitting on the grass. They should be playing. Do you want to go another three rounds with them? Hey, are you looking for eggs too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. As you can see, traffic is good. And there are two locations in New Atlantis? Yes. And the sales in the fest didn't dip at all when the sales were. Don't be nervous. You got this? Service with a smile. That's the UC way. Bulk items may require multiple levels of approval and can take up to several weeks for an official response. We apologize for any delay. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? Oh, really? Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? I could, but I did pay for it. I'd like to recover my losses, and it's all the way in the back room. I'd have to walk back there, then back out here. You did say this was important after all. Honestly, it's probably worth way more than what we're talking about. Pleasure doing business with you. You mean besides providing a pleasant face for cus- It's all in the name. We distribute. Materials and products. Never a dull moment. Always something going on and four other things we need to be ready. I know some people don't believe it, but 
We really do the best we can. When... I hope we have what you need. Right, right. Come back if you need something else. Someone insults you. I really do need that additional data. Recent scans of the tree have suggested that a significant portion of the interior is liquefied. Obviously, some small percentage of its internal workings is always liquid to allow for the transfer of nutrients. If it continues to increase, I'm concerned the entire tree may collapse. And I'm also worried about other secondary effects. It's... Too soon to speculate. If the time comes, I will certainly attempt to alert the appropriate people in mast. If I have more depth... I appreciate your confidence. The sooner I have all the... So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to do. All right. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And 
mind. Just another moment. It is working, isn't it? Ah, there it is. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it's... Oh, my. Well, there's good news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. Well, from a certain point of view. And, and, admittedly, the bad news, as it were, is that the... In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be well, disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in Mast at once. Thank you for your assistance.